to the Silent Hill Ascension pre-show. I am Noah and please forgive me, I did not have time to do my makeup today, but I will now summon my co-host, Morgy Morge. Lordy Lord, let Layla rise! It is 5.40 p.m. Pacific, which means you are here with myself and the wonderful, the magical Noah for the pre-show. At 6 p.m., you will be uh, just enjoying the journey that is Silent Hill Ascension. And then after you're finished, you're going to come right back to us for the post-show. Noah, what a treat. Would you mind telling the good people what those, um, what that good thing called Silent Hill Ascension is? It would be my absolute darkest pleasure. Silent Hill Ascension is a socially interactive streaming series where all of you collectively shape and experience its evolving story. Collaborate and compete with others to make the choices you want. When each decision ends, that choice locks in as canon, and that is the version of the show that everybody sees, a canon story shaped by you, the participating audience, every weekday. Now, let's watch our setup scene here. Other Brit attacks Astrid and the truth about Brit's involvement in the violence Eva enacted is revealed. There's no one here. Rachel said to come here, right, Britt? And then... What? She'd meet us here? Somehow? Britt? No more 
voices! No more monsters! Brie, what are you... Rift? Oh god. Help? Help! Somebody, please! Help! Nils? Did you think I would just be wallowing in my undeserved redemption? There's a time when seeing the Johansson sisters tear each other apart would have given me great joy. But now I have to ask, what the hell was that? It's hard to explain. Then I'll expect an interview for my podcast. This has given me flashbacks. The day you told me to come here. The day your sister waited with that gun. Nils, I'm sorry. I think we're long past apologies. But I appreciate the sentiment. Niels, if I don't come back, just make sure Astrid is okay. Okay? Wait. Where are you going? To finally take care of myself. Ooh, that was a creepy moment. We had other Brit uh, taking matters into her own hands. Uh, Leila, can you break it down for us? If by matters, you mean uh, Astrid's head. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> you really said, uh, get dunked. And, uh, you know, uh, the, truly that fountain, I feel like, has been in disrepair for like three days. And that was the muddiest thing I've ever seen, uh, which, you know, fountains and like water sources do that. So <laughs> thank right. you. If, if you maintain those, thank you. Um, yeah, man, there's uh, a lot going on between uh, Astrid having to balance just being attacked and then knocking her sister unconscious potentially and then the reveal that brit um apparently told nils to show up uh when ava was in town so okay so we're gonna talk about norway a little more in a bit but let's discuss uh pennsylvania now uh, leila can you do us the honors and production can you please show that up on the screen it would be my honor as it were uh, so Eric reveals the truth about his role in the steel mill accident. A lot of uh, accomplices coming to light uh, this week. And then Eric arrives at the foundation just in time to see how Rachel deals with Faith's followers. And then Rachel devises a plan to protect Faith from harm and insists Eric must enact it. Uh, we're going back to the steel mill. It's going to be... Yeah, so the plan is basically... Uh triggering Eric's worst trauma ever uh, and going to the place where he feels guilty for what happened for the accident. Uh, it's still unclear if Rachel was engaging in insurance fraud while that happened. We're still not sure. Uh, but we know that Rachel uh, claims she was out of town doing some other business. But anyway, uh, Eric consults with Krista basically, not so much consults, but tries to think what he's gonna do. Yeah, and uh, in that in that kind of uh, consultation appointment, uh, Krista makes one last pass, right? <laughs> one last try. And there's a, a decision with regards to that, which is uh, how will Eric answer Krista's question about choosing Rachel? Uh, and that ends in 17 minutes, folks. And the choices are she's faith. Con that started even before time began. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, because he does have to take those medication all the time, uh, thanks to Brit, apparently. Um, and wait, let's give him a minute to talk about the major, major rooster blocking that Orson caused this wedge in our how grid. This is I awesome. Know. 
a little boy shaped wedge. Uh, <laughs> this is coming between our girls. And it is tragic. Because again, I was threatened that I forget things happened. I genuinely forgot this happened. <laughs> I, was, I was like, you blocked it out. I, absolutely, I simply do not perceive it. I uh, I was high on the Howgrid train. I was I was riding on top of it. You know, I was feeling the breeze. And then this little boy laid down on tracks and derailed it. And I totally forgot it happened. And then I had to face the reality of adults making adult decisions. This is terrible. And I understand that, you know, Astrid is a good mother and she's just trying to appease her son. Uh, definitely having a very, very severe tantrum over there mm -hmm. in the bedroom. I'm not sure that kicking out like I think Eduardo mentioned it on the last show that like the fact that Orson so wants to kick out uh, uh, Haugen probably means that she's cool, like there's something good about her. Because he's being all, you know, um, immolatory. She's also good with a gun, which I think is maybe important during the monster invasion portion of our television program here, you know? Correct. Or our interactive program, rather. Correct. But yeah, uh, it's definitely, I do hope, I still have hope that they might reunite, you know. I feel like Haugen took it like a champ. She's, uh, it actually was riveting for me to watch. Uh, but let's talk about our system that makes it all happen here, our fate and hope system. Leila, can you please take us through it? I hope y'all are paying attention uh, to them fates and them hopes as we are approaching uh, the climax of the story as we can all kind of feel in our bones. Uh, and so fate and hope, as we can recall, uh, fate happens during decisions. Uh, hope, however, is more influenced by the interactive portion, uh, the other interactive portions of the show, like the endure scenes and the uh, mini games and the mindfulness activities. Sorry, the endure streams and the mindfulness activities. Can't talk today. Uh, a character's hope needs to be high enough for them to survive a crucial story moment. Uh, and as I said, those are, I believe, fast approaching. So. Noah, it's, are you it, ready? I'm, first of all, I'm not ready. I'm never ready, Leila. Uh, and second, it's really, it's fate o'clock for our girl Brit. Um, it seems like, so far, by the way, y'all kept her sober. So I just want to commend everybody that as we face, you know, the end of Brit, we don't know what end it would be exactly, but, um, Y'all kept her sober, and that's something to command, I think. We could have seen, we could, like, for some reason, this is something we don't want to mess with. It's not like, you know, something expendable like Rachel's eye. Yeah, you know, Karen, what eye you can replace? Yeah. Uh, you dug up like mummies with fake eyes. <laughs> Whatever, you don't need one of those. But, uh, you know, her journey on sobriety, I'm also glad we've kept that uh, quite intact. Uh, and I believe uh, her hope is also quite high because uh, when it's Brit in that hospital, Brit up against those, those nasty, nasty, nasty creature friends that we have, uh, Y'all pull it out for her. You get your best tapping fingers and your best swiping fingers uh, and all the other things you got to do uh, when you match the inputs to what's happening on screen in order to help our wonderful characters. Uh, and uh, Noah, before we go to the decision closing this day, I also uh, hope that the audience knows they're fated for a lovely little surprise uh, with our very own Stefan uh, in the post show. Yes, you are going to get, and this is one of the reasons I went without makeup today because I can't have my channels interfere because I'm going to be channeling questions from the audience and I'm going to bring them uh, into life. So, <laughs> Leila, let's talk about our closing decision, though, the other one, speaking of other stuff. Yeah, what will Brit do to stop other Brit from harming Astrid? Embrace her, kill her, or bargain with her? Uh, and uh, very <laughs> embrace her, kill her, very close, a 48-45, with a lovely rally on bargain with her to disrupt uh, at 6% right now. So, uh, folks, you got seven minutes uh, with me and Noah, and I know, like, listen, I hate to tell you not to look at us for, like, 10 seconds, but if there's... 
it says final fate, so yeah, no, that's that's the time. That's the time to uh, really make a final impact on our girl. You know, sober it. Let's do it. Is she going to um, kill other Brit, embrace her, or bargain with her all while sober? This is a hard, hard ask. But I know this is, I see the Drew here is saying in the chat, I'm not ready for Brit to go. And this one is a bit, you know, it's kind of, it reminds me a bit of a Toby, you know. Uh, we do love our alcoholics in this show. And uh, it's always really sad when we have to say goodbye. But, you know, I don't think she has to end like, to you know, she. it can be different. It can be different. Um, and I, honestly, um, I feel really bad for Brit when she came to a realization that she just like uh, knocked out Astrid, <laughs> like her sister, because she wasn't aware of that. Well, that was other Brit. Yeah, well, she was, she was, you know, trying her best for that not to happen, but she was trapped in mirrors and windows and such, as we saw, um, which is not a convenient place to be trapped when you're trying to stop your other self from doing bodily harm to your sister. Uh, but hey, now uh, we're at the pivotal choice of whether or not that's going to keep happening mm -hmm. uh, or how that's going to come to an end. And uh, audience, it's you. You are the fates weaving, weaving this tale and, and uh, you know, doing your, your little threads and cutting them as you do. So let's see. Let's see where things shake out. Let's see where things shake out. Now, reminder, stick around, and uh, not just for the show, but also for the post show, because we are channeling from the other world with the other realms uh, questions for Stefan. Uh, so it is almost time for the show. Uh, Leila, you mentioned endurance before. Can you please like go over it again? Absolutely. Uh, when the endurance scene starts, you will have to time your inputs to the actions you see on screen to help our character. Collective success means that the character's hope will... Noah, what? Rain. Otherwise, it will what? Fall. If a character fails enough endurance, they may not serve... Th Thank you for doing that with me. <laughs> Future encounters <laughs> leading to their permanent death in the story. These endurance teams are one of the best places to earn large amounts of influence points. Remember, success or failure is part of the collective story and not an individual judgment unless you subscribe to the Auntie Judgment Plan. We will judge you. And Layla and I are really waiting by the phone, so don't hesitate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of those big, like, big cartoon, like, rotary phones. <laughs> <laughs> old it's school yeah. uh, but we are starting very soon um, Leila would you do the honors of recapping uh, like the only problem it's going to be great with Stefan here but I am going to gravely miss you uh, well I'll just be dying somewhere in a corner without you uh, and then you'll revive me again because that's that's what you're that's what we pay for that's what your job is to come in and resuscitate me <laughs> all right so in Norway uh, Astrid once again decided to go the path alone and uh, she just got dunked on by uh, other Brit we're gonna see the resolution of that and how Brit chooses to, to kind of handle the rest of her life and her her burdens uh, and then over in uh, Pennsylvania we got the Hernandez family also about to you know, face this thing that they've been talking around and dodging for such a long time. And now it's, uh, they have to go back in order to save themselves and their daughter uh, and this town possibly. So uh, Noah, nothing but tension. Uh, I hope you're ready to channel our, our, our audience uh, to Stefan later today. Uh, but any final thoughts before we let the good people go? Please enjoy, and we will be here with you in the other side. <gasps>